Hi, Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College. I've got about four hours today in between uh, business, and I'm going to get out here and see what's happened now after a cold front. We've had uh, two days where the temperatures have dropped now to 32 degrees or less at night and only went up to 50 in the day. Major cold front came through. I'm going to see if that's moved the bass out of the shallows that we're getting in there on beds or starting to make beds or whether they're still in there just locked on and see the mood of the fish. I'm going to give you an idea like uh, what's happening in all the Delaware ponds just by going here. You can apply these same tactics to all your small ponds and lakes throughout the Delmarva region. So we're going to get out here. We're going to start out with some assassinator spinnerbaits, a fantastic spinnerbait. Uh, if you guys haven't seen them before, you need to check them out on our site. You can, you can custom make any one of the baits and you get a 10% discount. So we're going to be throwing this uh, assassinator spinnerbait right here, 3 8 ounce on 17 pound desk sunline, um, 7 foot medium heavy action rod. And then we're going to throw some rattle traps, some custom painted um, cotton cordell super spots by Piz Customs. Uh, we're going to throw a um, an RC 1.5 up in the shallow wood. We're going to be throwing a dirty jig swim jig, 3 8 ounce on some Sunline FX2 braid. And we're going to hit all the spots real quick, all the prime areas, try and uh, detect the mood of the fish so you guys that are getting out later during this week uh, can see really what's going on and get an idea how to start and develop a strategy. So we'll see you guys. Well, when I was here four days ago, the water temperature was 70.1 in the morning in the shallows. Went up to 75.6. The day I got here, the water temperature was 49.2. Right now, uh, in the warmest part on the North Shore in the shallow muddy water, it's 54.3. That's a 20 to 25 degree drop in four days. They're just completely moved them off the bed. Uh, the temperature is going below freezing for two days in a row just shut them right down. On top of it, you've got a 20 to 30 mile an hour wind going out here on the main lake. I'm in a little protected cove right now, but it's almost impossible to work the baits that I would use on the first drop-offs to try to get them to strike where I think they are. I think they've moved off out of the shallows and they're laying down on the bottom at the first drop-offs, at the first on cover on the first drop-offs. But uh, I can't work uh, tiny little jigs and shaky heads and, you know, things like that and worms and senkos because, I mean, I can't even cast out there. I mean, seriously, it's 30 mile an hour wind. You cast and it's actually moving your rod, not just the line. So I'm going to go around with the dirty jig and I'm going to hit all the deeper points on the edges and work it real slow and see what happens. But so far I've thrown two, two different kinds of crankbaits. I've thrown two rattle traps two different colors, and I've thrown three different jigs, a swim jig, and I've thrown the chatter bait, two different assassinators, and I can't get even one fish to hit so far, so we'll see what happens. there's a decent one there. <coughs> Caught that on my custom-made assassinator spinnerbait. Got him good, too. Assassinator's got great hooks. You can make these right on the site. I made that. Look at that. That's a decent bass, huh? had uh, two more this big. The water's super muddy and you've got a 30 mile an hour wind going out there and I threw it into some lay downs and I had two more this size come up right at the surface and swirl at the bait and just miss it. And I went back and threw in the jig and other baits around them, hit it at a different angle, they wouldn't strike but uh, I just hit this one now man, that's nice. Look at that, that's decent huh? Alright, let's get this one back in. There you go. Assassinator spinner bait. Decent, decent bass. Weighs, oh God, right, weighs almost five pounds, even though it's only about a four pound bass normally. Decent. I like assassinator. Okay, time's run out. I gotta get out of here. I've got water temperatures now of 60 degrees, 60.1. So it's going up a little bit, I'm sure by Thursday or Friday, uh, they'll turn on a little bit more and then they'll start to move back in on the beds again. You can tell if you had a little more time, if you went around and carefully picked apart all the lay downs and, you know, up in shallow on the deep drop offs on the edge of the pads where it drops off, 
He probably could pick up a couple more by 5 or 6 o'clock, but I don't have that kind of time today. So until next time, this is Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College, and I'll see you down on the water.